Harry the Slug by Angie Shingleton, short stories for kids. Today we have a book named Harry the Slug by Angie Shingleton, short stories for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a slug called Harry. He was a very happy slug, and he enjoyed his life gardening and eating, which sometimes for him were the same thing. He had lots of friends in the garden and liked to chat with everybody. One day, Harry was shading himself under a plant from a rain shower when he was joined by Molly the snail. Hey, Molly, how are you? chirped Harry. Dry, thanks, said Molly jovially. The snails were always very smug that they had shells to keep them dry and warm. You're so lucky to have your house on your back, Molly. I have terrible trouble when it rains. Apart from anything else, the patter of the rain always makes me want to go out in it, but then I get awfully wet. Do you think I could have a shell, Molly? <laughs> Be daft, Harry. You're a slug. Sorry, Harry, she chortled and went slowly on her way. Harry shrugged his body where his shoulders would be and decided that never mind, at least if he didn't have a house, he didn't have to tidy his bedroom. The next day, Harry was reading. He liked to learn about other animals who he had not yet met. He didn't move very fast, so traveling wasn't on his list of hobbies, so there were lots of species that he didn't know about. His book was in alphabetical order. He had just read about giraffes. They were enormous, and Harry couldn't imagine being able to chat to one of them successfully. Then he turned the page and saw a crab. He was confused because crab starts with the letter C, and that didn't come after G, but then Harry read the title properly. This was a special type of crab called a hermit crab. Harry's tentacles waved excitedly as he read that hermit crabs had a shell, but not one that they were born with. It was one that they found and made into their own home. Well, that is what I shall do, thought Harry excitedly, and wandered out onto the lawn to see what he could find. First, he found a child's shoe, which provided very good shelter, but it was too heavy to move. Then he found a frisbee. It was lighter, but too wide, and he kept bumping into things. Harry thought he may have to give up for the day, but then he saw a shiny speckled mound on the grass. When he finally got to it, he realized it was half of the shell from a bird's egg. The baby birds had hatched this season, so they obviously didn't need them anymore. Harry slid beneath the shell, and it fitted perfectly. Hurrah, thought Harry. I found my home, and it's beautiful. Just then, Molly and some other snails slid up. Wow, Harry, said Molly. You look amazing, and now you'll be dry and warm, too. I'm so pleased for you. Are you going to be a snail now? Um, said Harry. Thank you for the offer, but I do like being a slug. So maybe I'll be an honorary snail sometimes for fun, but I think, really, I am the first ever hermit slug. Molly smiled proudly. Yes, Harry. You are a very clever and special little slug, and everybody agree. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.